Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Joe's Garage. We are here with the C8 Corvette and today we are going to be replacing the brake pads. The Z51 package is incredible because it gives you a significant track related suspension, exhaust, uh, 5 extra horsepower, a lot of other things. However, it does come with brake pads that allow you to be street and track. But by doing that, it creates an excessive amount of brake dust. And I don't know about you guys, but I like to keep this car clean as much as I can. And so literally I drive it five miles and it's covered in brake dust. It's like you, they, the, the wheels, which are black painted forged wheels are amazing. Um, they lose their gloss, They're, they just look powdery. So I'm changing them out with a Carbo Ceramic uh, made by Carbotech. Carbotech, this is the 1521. That's the uh, front and rear for the C8 Corvette if you have a 2020 to 2024, as I have a 2024. First thing you gotta do though, as I've been told, is you have to disconnect your battery. So, I undid my positive battery terminal, and in doing that, I uh, use a 10 millimeter socket, unplug that, and you also have to remove these three panels. There's a main panel here, and then there's two side panels that need to come off in order to obtain access to that battery. So now that the battery's off, it won't allow the pistons to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock or loosen up the lug nuts, quick jack the car up, and get this party started. All right, guys, so I got the wheel off and I got the caliper. I also have a box underneath it to make sure that this brake line doesn't get stretched or pulled. There are two 21 millimeter socket screws here and this one here, as you can see. And they have a little bit of Loctite on them, so when I put them back in, I'm going to Loctite them back in. And those are the two screws that hold this entire caliper on. They should be torqued to 160 pounds uh, as per uh, manufacturer. However, I think they were torqued less. I would say probably close to 130 to 140 when I got them. This is straight from the factory. The car has only 1,100 miles on it. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to clean up this disc both sides with some high power brake cleaner. When I get that off, I'm gonna keep make sure there's no fingerprints or anything touching this, just to make sure there's no residue from the last brake pads that are here. And then we're gonna get into the process of taking off, or I should say taking out the two brake pads that lie in here. I don't wanna say that there's a major adhesive that's holding this together and you're gonna to need to pry it off carefully with a screwdriver. So that's what mine looks like. There's virtually no adhesive. So this is gonna come right out pretty easily. Um, and then once you have this off, that's basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna just kinda work it out. Uh, I'm gonna get this down in here a little bit deeper to get a little more leverage to get off of those two pins. There's two pins in the back side that this slides off of and, uh, and that's it. All right, so I gave a good uh, soapy water wash to the caliper, got most of the brake dust off of that. I now went around and using uh, brake cleaner, got that in one pass off of the outside only of this rotor right here. So I'm gonna do it a couple more times, get this super duper clean before we stick in the new pads and we'll go from there. All right, so we are about to put uh, this brake pad. This is the Carbotech. Uh, it's gonna go in this way. Obviously you want the pad surface, not the red surface to go facing inward. The holes that you can see here where the pins, there's two pins that that has to slide into. I'm going to put a little bit of lubricating grease. I'm using a ceramic uh, grease that I picked up. Sorry about that. That I picked up at the auto parts store. Uh, this has ceramic fortified. It goes from 50, negative 50 degrees to 3000 degrees, uh, which is well more than I believe I'm going to reach uh, even on a track day or two. Uh, so that's going to go on the edges of the brake pads, as well as the holes where those pins sit in. Don't put it obviously on the surface of the brake pad because that will defeat the purpose of lubricating where you're trying to stop. All right, so I'm going to put some of this silicone lube with, uh, it's also got some ceramic silicone lube supposed to be quite good. You want to get that in the spots where the pins go and then along the outer edges 
of that brake pad. I'm also gonna put a little bit to avoid squeaking on the back plate here and just give a little light coat of this stuff over here just because sometimes that can attribute to squeaking. And the last thing I really wanna hear is loud squeaking when I'm driving my beautiful Corvette. So not a lot, just a little bit of lube right on there. That should do it. When I put these back in, if it doesn't fit, I have caliper spreaders that I may have to use or piston spreaders to get the, uh, the opening so that I can get the rotor on, but we're gonna hope it works. All right, so we're here at the rear brakes of the Z51 setup, and in here what we need to do is we need to punch out this pin and this pin, and when that happens, this retaining spring clip will come out, the brake pads should slide out, and then we can put them back in and then put them back in the reverse order. That's the, uh, that's the plan here. I'm going to be using a punch kit that I have uh, for firearms and we'll use it for this because it'll work. All right, so I've taken out the pins and the clip on the rear brake, the Z51, and it's always a good idea before you put them back in to spray them with a little brake cleaner, clean them up, make them look nice. That's it. All right, so I got the wheels back on. I got them lightly tightened. I'm about to torque them down to 140 pounds per square inch. I've reconnected the battery. Ignore all that paper stuff. That's to be shredded. Uh, I reconnected the battery, but prior to reconnecting the battery, I sat in the car and I pumped the brake pedal till the brakes got firm. Then once I turned the car on, I pumped the brakes again to make sure that they were firm. I did not throw any error codes. Everything went perfectly smooth. Uh, I will be bedding the pads in a little bit uh, right now just also by the way when the battery was disconnected the doors locked and I could not open the doors however there is a hidden mechanism underneath the door in this area here and actually it's only on the driver's side I guess well it's on the driver's side but there's a spot let's go over there Go to the driver's side. Lay it up there. You can take the key fob, pull the metal key out, put that in there, turn the key, it will unlock the door even though the battery is either dead or disconnected in this case. So that you can get in and pump the brakes before you throw a coat. So that's just another little tip.